Hi everybody, if you've been following this series from the beginning, you'll know that I've been building this miniature model steamboat from a series of articles by Leslie Propo, which appeared in Live Steam and Outdoor Railroad magazine. If you haven't already seen his YouTube channel, do yourself a favor and have a look at his amazing miniature live model steamboats and miniature steam engines. I found that the bow floated a little high in the water and so I added some lead weights on either side of the fuel tank to improve the trim when floating. It's always important to lubricate all the moving parts very carefully before running with either compressed air or live steam. The boiler uses about 10 milliliters of distilled water and I use the syringe to fill it very easily. This little engine uses methylated spirits as a fuel and about six milliliters seems to do the trick. This amount of fuel and distilled water gives a run time of about 10 minutes, ensuring that the fuel runs dry before the water runs out. Enough steam pressure is raised to run the engine after about 3 minutes. After a while the engine seemed to be running fairly smoothly so I decided to put it on the water to see how it performed. As you can see, the miniature steam engine has barely enough power to propel the boat forward at a reasonable speed. Uh, the resistance caused by the propeller shaft, the engine shaft coupler and the water itself is just about too much for the little engine and it's not reliable. It stops every now and then and this is definitely not satisfactory. So I'll have to rethink what I'm going to do next. If you look at the videos on Leslie Proper's channel, you'll see that his little miniature steamboats run extremely well and the engine in fact has almost too much power and he has to turn down the wick of the fire flue to reduce the speed at which the engines are turning. So the conclusion is that my engineering standards are just not good enough and I'll have to go back and remanufacture and remachine various parts of the engine. I also made changes to the boiler and I'll show you what has been done but I'm fairly happy that the boiler itself is performing at the optimum pressure and is built to exact design specifications.
The engine will run fairly well outside of the boat, where of course it has no resistance from the propeller shaft, the shaft couplers or the water itself. If you look closely you'll see that a fair amount of steam pressure is being lost below the piston uh, that is coming out the bottom of the cylinder and the valve tube seems to be very, fairly well sealed at the bottom uh, due to the size of the valve itself but the piston could be slightly larger in diameter to provide a better seal in the cylinder. The boiler has been thoroughly checked for leaks when it's under pressure and one of the things I checked of course was the safety valve which is performing correctly and blows off at about 10 psi which is way below the operating uh, pressure of this little engine. I also tried various height changes in terms of the central flue or chimney the boiler pressure vessel is made exactly to the specifications of Leslie's Propra's design and originally I used a copper tube which was too thick and I've since changed to a brass tube of the correct thickness and diameter. The spirit burner I'm using has an adjustable wick which can be pulled further out but I found this is giving you minimum changes in pressure of the amount of uh, delivered to the engine. The position of the shaft coupler in relation to the propeller shaft is critical and there should be no resistance whatsoever because of course all the resistance just robs the little engine of power and I do the setting by changing the height of the engine mounts and the mounts for the propeller shaft and this took hours to do and by feel you can feel that there's almost no resistance offered by the propeller shaft when it's coupled to the engine so I believe I've achieved the optimum efficiency here as well and there's only the remachining of the parts of the engine which will give it a better performance a new cylinder head and valve tube was built with a new uh, valve which was exactly to the specifications in Leslie Proper's design Originally I used a valve which was slightly different to his valves because of the position of my steam inlet holes in the cylinder head. I changed everything. This is an adjustable little valve which I used originally but I went back to his original valve design and this did improve uh, pressure considerably but still not enough and I had to rethink again. I'm currently building a completely new head assembly, valve assembly and piston to a much higher standard conforming exactly with Leslie Popper's design and I'm hoping that this will give me the extra performance I need. I'm determined to get this miniature steamboat running properly. The forthcoming final video in this series will feature a maiden voyage under live steam. I've had a lot of fun building this little miniature steamboat and I hope you've all enjoyed the videos. Thanks for your comments and support.
Brother.